Hey, welcome to this episode of Guest Therapy. I'm Michael. I share my knowledge of musical gear solutions which are cheaper and better. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss my future updates. I was triggered by the new Vocal FM2, but instead of my gear acquisition syndrome, it triggered my bad memories with the previous model. It wasted me too much time and effort when I was an FM since newbie. So today, I'm going to show you how you can replace a Vocal FM2 for free. Let's go. Who would thought about Korg would update their Voca FM in 2022? And by update, I mean changing the LED from red to green, adding three more voices from three to six. Finally, we can play an 11th chord, add a few more preset slots, shrinking the 5-pin MIDI part and adding one part for MIDI out, adding a reverb effect, support velocity via MIDI. Here, yeah, that's another story with the previous one. And adding a way to change preset parameter randomly. Anything else? I don't think so. Not even a USB port. We still need to use headphone jack to transfer presets, just like the previous generation of Voca sample. Don't even think about audio via USB. OP1 came out 10 years ago, and still it makes audio via USB happen. This is too lazy. They don't even bother to change the front panel design. All they did is just punch two smaller holes instead of the big one. What were Cork thinking? You may argue, hey Michael, don't you dare to compare a cheap Voca to the ridiculously expensive OP1. Plus, Voca FM supports the classic Yamaha DX7 presets. You know how much a real DX7 would cost you right now? It's more than 700 US dollars. Huh, 700 dollars for an old DX7 with sticky yellow keyboard? What if I tell you you can get a DX7 for free? If you are on Mac, Windows, or Linux, there is a free instrument software called Dexit, both in plugin and standalone, which also supports DX7 presets. It has six operators. Yeah, that's how they call an oscillator for FM synths. And 32 algorithms, which is the same with the real DX7. And the same with Voca FM 1 and 2. Please don't tell me Voca FM has a warmer analog sound. Cause DX7 and Voca FM are all digital FM synths. And how many voices are there in the new Voca? Six, right? How about seven? For free. Oh, oh. How about 8? Yeah. How about 9? 10? Okay, I need to stop here, because obviously I only have 10 fingers, otherwise it will be too good to be existing. And how many preset slots for the new Voca? 64, right? How about Infinity? Since Dexit supports DX7 presets, you can just download a lot of free ones on the internet and store it onto your computer. The only limitation here is your storage capacity. I already put a zip file link for the DX7 presets I found in the description. It's more than 10,000 and it's only 50 megabytes. I know, I know, less is more and you are more than satisfied with 64 presets. But promise me, just don't download my preset pack, okay? And since you want to design your own presets all by yourself, good luck with Voca FM2, because the workflow is no better than the previous one. You will always need to carry a manual cardboard, not only for which algorithm to choose, but also for which parameter to change, because the tiny little screen on Voca is not really informative. You will always need a manual on hand. What I did back in old days is I took a picture of both sides of the manual cardboard in case I lost it and have my smartphone aside of my Voca while designing sound on it. Man, it feels horrible looking back and forth and pinching in and out on the manual photo from the tiny screen, which is way, way bigger than the one on the Voca. But on the free deck seat, you don't need to suffer anything except the lack of knowledge on FM synths, which Voca FM2 makes it no better. If you want to learn and experiment with FM synths, don't start with Voca. Even the most patient YouTuber, Loopop, won't even bother to design a preset purely on the Voca, and he chose to use Dexit instead, then send it back into Voca. Well, since you already opened Dexit on your computer, how about just finish your sound design and composing all in your DAW? You don't even need to buy an audio interface and cables to record it, because everything eventually lives on your computer. Am I right? Wait, what? You need parameter randomize function for a preset? <laughs> okay, 
Let me teach you how to add a randomized parameter function for each and every gear you already own. How to randomize a preset parameter for free? Step 1. Open your gear or plugin window. Step 2. Choose a preset. Step 3. The most important step. You have to close your eyes and turn whatever knob or move fingertips on your trackpad and simply do some dragging. Step 4. Open your eyes and you will find your preset parameter is randomized. Now you may enjoy the most inspiring sound design feature from 21st century's musical gear industry discovered by Michael from Gas Therapy. All right, let's see what else do we have. Reverb. Yeah, reverb. Don't we have enough free ones? Wahala Supermassive, link in description. It will be only free for today. You are welcome. And I am kidding. MIDI out. Who needs that when you can just copy your MIDI note clip onto another track if you want the same composing? Just hit option key and drag and drop. Done. Velocity via MIDI. Yeah. Remember those good old days when we have to buy an iOS device and an app and a lightning camera kit and a USB to 5-pin MIDI cable and an Arturia key step keyboard which supports 5-pin MIDI out thanks to Cuckoo just to play with Note Velocity on Vocal FM and then finally we can hack our Vocal FM with pageant firmware for free even hackers know how to let Vocal FM to support MIDI Velocity but Cork don't isn't that funny? It reminds me of the old MPC and the JJOS. It's so ironic. I used to own the previous Vocal FM model for years and struggles a lot. But since I found the free plugin Dexit and it just support velocity with every MIDI keyboard I own, I immediately sold my Voca and never looked back. And yes, Voca FM has built-in arpeggiator and Dexit don't. But a lot of music making software has built-in arpeggiator settings which are way more inspiring. Even GarageBand. You may insist that uh, no more software plugins, I'm going dollars all the way, I'm willing to pay for the tactile feel. Well, if you don't care about your money and you like to always carry a manual cardboard while designing a preset, and you prefer to put half an hour of effort on a tiny little screen and a limited amount of knobs just for handcrafting a simple sound, then Vocal FM2 is definitely your thing. Just go grab it. It's no brainer. But I know it's not mine. I like the looking of Vocal FMs, but not the user experience. I also like the sound of Vocal FMs, but I know it's not the unique sound of Vocal FM. It's just the sound of a classic Yamaha DX7. And it is free and available for everyone. And thanks to all the efforts Korg has made for the Vocal FM2, I choose to stay with the free DX7 plugin for the sake of my money and time. Oh, if unfortunately you don't have Mac or PC or Linux, there are also cheap alternatives for other platforms. For iOS, there is KQ Dexy and the DXi FM Synthesizer. For Android, you can try the FM Synth in Caustic. KQ Dexy on iOS also supports DX7 presets, but other two don't. Links in description, you can go check them out. I don't earn any money from them. Okay, that's it for today's video. Leave a comment if you have any question. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gas therapy. Also follow my Instagram and the support me through Patreon for other secret tips. You can even find how to turn Koala Sampler into an NPC with keys only MIDI controller. I'm Michael. This is Gas Therapy. See you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>